that's a deliverance. It's a salvation. You know, we think about Acts chapter 2. And there were some people there that were already devout men. They were already serving God, but just like the people in Romans chapter 10, they had a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. And then the gospel was preached to them, and they were pricked in the heart, they were convicted in the heart, and they said, what do we need to do? Men and brethren, what do we need to do? And Peter told them, you need to repent and be baptized, because you can save yourself from this untoward generation. That's in Acts chapter 2 and in verse 40. So, uh, again, rightly dividing the word saved in Scripture. If we're saved by grace, not by our works, lest any man should boast. And Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, and many other places in the New Testament make that very clear. We're saved solely by grace and not by our works. But then we have a verse here that says we can save ourselves. We can save ourselves. But what's the situation in which we can save ourselves from? You can't save yourself. From hell to heaven you can't save yourself in an eternal sense but this untoward generation is the generation that's around you here in your life there's a salvation and deliverance that you can save yourself from this untoward generation when we hear the gospel we believe the gospel